keep your clothes on. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. You don't have to look at this. You do not have to look at this. Can't go and leave this. Has a, and no, I think, this is, can you no, all get see off. me properly? Or? No, can get anyone. <laughs> Pray anyone. Keep your clothes on. Today we're setting up Made in Chelsea star Digby Edgeley. He thinks he's coming on a feminist podcast to talk about equality. This is super professional, isn't it? Yeah. What did you expect? But he has no idea what he's in for. I see, I honestly had no idea what to expect. Yeah, women could do podcasts. No, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Digby. Hello and welcome to Her Say, the show that breaks out the echo chamber and invites male guests to join us to discuss feminism. Today, us lady comedians, me, Lily Phillips, and her... Esther Manito. I don't know if we should call ourselves lady comedians, though. We're just comedians. Oh, we are lady comedians. Ladies. No, you just say comedians. That's so outdated. What do you think, Digby? Comedians. Uh, yeah, exactly. Comedians. Thank you, Digby. Welcome to the show, the star of Made in Chelsea. It's Digby. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, guys. Um, do you have any particularly um, strong female influences in your life? My mum has definitely, I think, given me my morals and given me everything that's kind of made me the man I am today. Your looks? My mum definitely, yeah, my mum. My mum's really? eyes, yeah. My mum's eyes are really, what really she, blue. What does she look well, like, blue eyes? That's not, tan. sorry, that's not massively she, relevant. I just, wanna, though, I just wanna get a visual <laughs> of what his mum looks well, like. Well, no, but I mean, do you have a sister as well? I do, yeah. Do you look like your mum? Yeah, she does. Good looking fam. Yeah. I'm just trying to Google her, actually. No, you don't. Well, my sister. Like, yeah. No, I don't. Oh, I don't <laughs> think. Compare, that. compare and contrast. No, uh, let's um, <laughs> let's maybe think about um, some of those issues that we wanted to talk. Yeah. About. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a good question. So obviously this is a feminist podcast. We probably should have asked this first. But are you a feminist? Would you consider yourself a feminist? Oh God, I've never actually been asked that question. But I have a lot of respect for women. I really, really have a lot of respect for women. Is that a no then? Um, no, I'd say yeah. I probably yeah. I probably am a feminist. I, yeah. I, I like. I have a lot of. I do have a lot of respect for women. Sounds to me like you're a feminist. I'd yeah, say. I'd yeah. say. I'd say. Tick. <laughs> It'd be Check really awkward if you'd said absolutely not. I hate women. We'd have to stop the. Podcast. No, I mean, I I have honestly so much respect for women. So much respect for women. Brilliant. Okay, one more question um, on that theme. Do you think women are overly objectified in the media? Yeah, I do. But you would want a woman on a date to look nice, wouldn't you? Yeah, if someone turned up looking like a bag yeah, of shit, yeah. you're not going to be like, 100%, but this I, date's want going to, I, well. I would never want to make them feel like uncomfortable. Yeah, everyone should be kind of. Yeah, and you could be comfortable looking stunning. Your choice, woman's choice. It is. <laughs> This is my favourite part of the show. Um, so each week we rate a new women's health product on the okay. market and we decide whether we think they're a good product or not. So if you could pick it up for me, Digby. <laughs> could you read it out for us? Yeah, minge. Minge? Can you say it one more time? Minge. It's <laughs> a great word, isn't it? He's holding Lovely our minge. Lovely word. He's yeah. holding our minge. I'm holding a minge. Yeah, this is an actual product. Mm. And what do you think this product is? Uh, something, I'm guessing with the name, something to do with the uh, females. <laughs> the females. The females' private parts. <laughs> <laughs> the females' Well, yes, this is actually a chocolate which helps relieve period pain. That's actually really smart. Yeah. Do you want to try some minge? He wants to, he can't bloody wait. <laughs> I'm actually making a complete mess of this. Oh, okay, do you want a bit of my minge? Yeah, I'll have a bit of your minge. Yeah, I've, I've opened a bit, so you have that one. Well, it's good to share a minge. <laughs> Sharing is caring. We talked about inspirational women, you talked about the women in your life, but do you think that you can be inspirational and beautiful? I don't think you need to point at me and then point at oh, yourself no, when I you say beautiful. That. that was unconscious. I didn't, I just, sorry. I okay, but I mean, that, you know, <laughs> I don't know, Digby, what do you think? I don't think that we really need to divide women into either, you know. Well, he can just answer. So, apologies. Let, I d let, I let the man speak. I definitely think both, 100% you can be. Can you think of any? 
I'm terrible with names. I'm like, awful with names. <laughs> names of women or just, <laughs> just in <that>. general. <laughs> just to, um, but it is possible. Okay, okay so Je- like Jessica Alba, for, for example, obviously stunning. Sexual. Yes, yeah, very yes. sexual. But she's also, through her social media presence as well, she really does send a very positive mm. message. So yeah, 100%. I yeah, mean, it's like doing things with your beauty. You know, it's because you've got that platform. Maybe the beauty got her there and then she... No, but I think what Digby's trying to say is that she's very much got a good business head and, and you know, she's she's developed a, an amazing career mm-hmm. and just happens to be beautiful, yeah. which is which, great, isn't it? But, we, you know, we can all see it. I'm just Googling her as well. God, okay, stop, a lot of stop Google history <laughs> Googling of beautiful women, oh. women on my computer now. <laughs> stop it. You uh, stop. Uh, um, yeah, she's stunning. Oh, my God. Should we do uh, some ad reads? Yeah, okay. So we've got sponsors, uh, like loads of podcasts, um, but it's cool if you helped us read some of them out. Cool. So hi listeners, after lockdown, everyone has been filling their homes with houseplants. Well, we want to tell you about houseplant with a difference. Uh, Debbie, do you have women in your life? Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you find their hormonal moods horrible? If you just say yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, look no further. It's time to invest in your first period plant. Scientists have found a new species of house plant called Cassius menstrata, meaning red devil. You know how some plants can serve to oxygenate our homes? Well, this one oxygenates your woman. I've been known to hold one up in the middle of an argument with my girlfriend as a barrier. She loved it. Discovered on your first order with code bitches be cray cray. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for reading Thanks those. Thanks for reading those, Dickie. Yeah. That's it. That's it for those. Should we get our special guests on now? Yeah, so we've got Professor Hansen coming on to Zoom and she's talking about development in women's health, which I think is particularly fascinating. Have we got... Oh, hello, Professor Hansen. Thank Hi you there. for joining us on Hello, Thursday. Thanks so much for having me. No, I don't think that... That can't... That's not... The, that's, that must be her assistant or something. <laughs> no, that's not the truth. So, Hi, Professor Hansen. No, I'm, Thank you so yeah. much. Hi, Are you the PA? So Are you the PA? Me. Can you get... It's prof- the professor no, stop there. It. Stop it, you're being really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm, I'm Professor Henson. It's, it's great to be here. Thanks so Thank much for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. We can't wait to hear about your research. It sounds absolutely fascinating. It's very pretty. Thank you. I just um, thought, I'm just, just surprised how pretty she is. Um, so I'm, I'm a researcher in, in BMI. Out. So BMI, as an idea, is, is actually over 200 years old. So oh, I didn't know new that. research shows that it's actually a really bad way to measure our health. Sorry, and sorry, Professor. A, can a, I just stop you there? I just look. We all have eyes. She's a very attractive woman. I just think I think as a visual, because this podcast is being filmed. I just think that you could maybe look a bit more professory. Um, no, that's not, no, that's not okay. No, Lily, that's not okay. I don't want to think we're just making it up. We've got some model on that's pretending she's no. a professor. Lily, you've got Professor, do you have something you could put on? I'm sure she's got a lab coat or something that she could just pop on. You don't have to put on a lab. I'm so sorry, Professor. But like Digby, would this have been the first thing that came to your mind? Honest. What? No, don't, would no, you, you don't have, have to answer, answer that. that. You don't have to answer that. An attractive professor. Yeah, yeah. with uh, like gorgeous, Full lips. We can tell well, she's I, smart by the. Have you got a lab coat or something? I'm sure you've got something in there. Yeah, just I, pop I, it on. I do have a, Thank a lab you. coat. Thank you. Yeah, it's you fine. She's got one. She just forgot to wear it. It's no, fine. No, it's not. She didn't forget. Thank you. I just feel That's really possible. humiliating. I've done that. She, she's got I'm one. Talk about this later. I didn't I'm so head. sorry, Professor. And um, it's really interesting what you were saying about the BMI being something which has had a, a kind of historical male narrative. Now she looks like a sexy yeah. doctor from Halloween. Something. Fuck it. Okay, just carry on. It's um, the research shows that it's it's a much better measure of health just to look at the way that fat is deposited in your body. No. <laughs> we shouldn't forget and ignore the fact that we want to look nice. We have eyes. We can all see each other. We're attracted to certain body types. Well, no, like that. You can't just put a generic. Like, yeah, we but, are attracted. Everyone's got yeah. different tastes. Like, yeah, everyone's and, and... got different tastes. Exactly. Digby, what is your as a as a body type for a woman? You don't have What to do you go for? No, you don't have to answer that. Digby. I mean, I'm just. I mean, me personally, I mean, I, 
I've, I think I've gone for more curvaceous girls, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was Liv curvaceous? No, we're not getting any pictures. <laughs> let's get, let's get, no, let's, not of no. her. Let's just get random women who we don't know, anonymous. Yeah. I, no. Let's get, yeah. No, let's, This no. is perfect. This so isn't perfect. we've got all different types of women here. Some who look great and some other, some others. Just quickly, like, which no, ones just, are you drawn no, to? No, Digby, you don't. We're not going to rate women according to their... This is feminism. Their, sorry. This is empowerment. I'm no, comfortable with my no, body. I'm empowering. comfortable to talk about it's it. And empowering. I think men should be able I to express believe what they feel about body types as well. you have arranged to have this photo I put up to humiliate them. our guest. I think that's outrageous. I'm not humiliating him. You're embarrassed because they're people that we don't know. So let's do it with us. No, we're not doing it. No. Let's do it with us. No, we're not We've doing got it with Digby us. Here. No, we're not doing it with I'm us. I'm not doing it. No, we're not <laughs> Up. No, we won't stand no, up. I'm comfortable with my body. Oh, Are you not great. comfortable? I'm really not comfortable participating. Yeah, I don't in want this. to do Definitely that. Definitely, you should participate, no. but maybe put on some glasses or something. Just no. so it's a fair fight. It's not let's happening. Let's get let's get someone else. There's not enough of us. No. Esther, you stand up. No, I'm Erica, not up. Erica, do you not? Know. Erica, <laughs> no, he's not doing it. Erica, <laughs> stay sat on. down. Erica, no, no you're Erica, not coming. Come, maybe the clothes are distracting everyone, and it should just be like bare. These are our bodies in the flesh. No, don't you Let's dare do take it like that. Attraction. <laughs> don't you I dare don't take your clothes off. Anyway. Don't you do that. Oh my god, I'm so off. sorry, Digby. I, I am important. so sorry. Oh, I'm so it's, sorry. It's fine. Keep your clothes on. It's absolutely. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. You don't have to look at this. I just think you it's important that he just has a. And I think can you all see me properly? No. Should I stand on the desk? This is Look, just awful. Who do you think? Who do you think has the best body out of no. all of us? No, D just, do just not, not answer that. I'm no, not, he's not participating really in nice. it. He's not participating he's, in it. Look, she's there. I'm here. No. Here, no. Just look at them and rate no, them. No, he's all. not <laughs> looking at anyone. <laughs> rate think, anyone. Okay, <laughs> this is rate awful. At all. Keep your clothes on. No, Erica, can we stop this? You could just read this. Digby. I'm Digby, and this is the Fake Podcast Show. This isn't real. Oh my god. So this is all fake. All fake. All fake. Minge's fake. Period. Doctor's fake. Doctor's yeah. fake. Oh, that's no. fake. I mean she's a real woman. <laughs> no, I had no idea what to expect. I, I actually mean, think I you've just... come off very well with this because you've maintained a level of dignity. Like if you'd gone down the rabbit hole going, oh yeah, no, she's fit, then it would have just been like. No, oh. I was never gonna rate anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a savage. <laughs> just got weirder and weirder and weirder. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck. Lily getting naked was just really weird. I didn't think I was that gullible, to be honest.